just wondering what your thoughts are on brands that are potentially commoditizing feminism and whether it's still something that will propel the cause forward, just to kind of have the message out there still. I think it depends on how it's done. Um, I think, you know, I think that uh, Andy Zeisler, who uh, founded The Great Bitch Magazine, just wrote a book about sort of um, how, you know, the commodification of feminism is problematic. And I think it can be, but I think it can also reach women who never would have called themselves feminists ever before. And if they're starting to, if, if, an, if a well done ad makes someone who would have been like, ew, feminism, that means hating men, if that makes you know, them get a little bit more aware, I can't see how that's hurting the cause as a whole at all. I mean, and is, it, is it as a, you know, a consumer or a reader my favorite thing? No, I'm not gonna say that it is. It, you know, to, but you know, I'm someone who's been steeped in feminist rhetoric for as long as I can remember. So I think it's about remembering that not everyone um, is as up on these issues or, or knows knows about them so deeply as mm -hmm. as someone who can turn a critical eye to them, which again, I think that's totally necessary to be critical of anyone who's trying to co-opt a very powerful movement. Um, but I think overall, um, it's a sort of slight net positive rather than something horrible. I actually think it's like flattering. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, good, use it, use it. Yeah. I guess if we've gotten to that point, where you're gonna like abuse feminism, great. <laughs> uh, so I had a question kind of going back to um, the newsletter kind of idea of like there just being news everywhere and that kind of being a curation. And I guess especially how you curate and maybe the process that you have to ensure diversity within that, especially with feminism for decades kind of being accused of whitewashing um, a lot of things. So well, that was just a mandate we had. We said it from the very beginning, from the first meeting we ever had with Jess, we all knew that that was a huge priority. Mm -hmm. And it turns out when you make that a priority, it works. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been the same thing with girls after, after the first season, we learned tremendous lessons and we made it a priority and it became a priority. And it's just, it's that easy. It is that easy. You make a choice and you stick to it. I mean, when I was saying we're doing the Lenny shorts, that it's gonna be 50% female diverse crew, you would not believe how huge a number that is compared to what it actually usually is on a crew. That's insane. We're right now, we just wrote about trying to pass this bill that's trying to get shows to commit to 4%. And New York is fighting it. Call your congressperson. But you know, that's, that's so, so it's just making choices like that and sticking to them. And it's about just, it's not just making the original commitment, it's looking at every single issue. Every issue we, we think about, the mix, and yeah. making sure that, I mean, I think we've had one issue that was all white, and we were like, that we should that should never happen again. Right. I mean, we literally look at every issue in the mix of diversity and the different kinds of voices, and we try to make diversity not just about, like, one different, you know, one person of color and then that's okay. I mean, we look at it with the illustrators. We try to, um, our deputy editor who chooses all, who does, works with all the illustrators and has an amazing eye. Um, she is uh, from Puerto Rico and she's fluent in Spanish. So she's gotten a lot of international illustrators that speak Spanish because she can work with them. And, 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 and so we have a lot of international illustrators. So it's not just diversity from like, you know, one person of color. It's like trying to make it diverse in as many dimensions as we possibly and can. And we have a diverse staff, yeah. and it starts there. Yeah. 